All right, guys, I wanted to do a deep dive on the prone heel to butt test, right? One of the big pieces that we touch on in the active life immersion. Uh, and we, we understand that it's a unique test and that it, it's testing uh, a muscle called the rectus femoris, which is you know partially a hip flexor and also a knee extensor. So it's a multi-joint muscle, meaning it's got a lot of influence or real estate on the lower back, in the hip and also the knee. And one of the first questions I just wanna propose is what causes shortness or limitations in muscle length in the first place? And I think one of the things that we can think about are our movement strategies or our patterns. So there are two things that, that we can think about when we bring up this idea of movement strategies or patterns. You know, one of them is can be more of a mechanical view meaning I'm staying in a certain position or I'm moving in a certain pattern and in that position, I'm lengthening certain muscles or I'm shortening certain muscles. You know, for example, if I'm you know, sitting like this, for example, you can think about how my upper back muscles may be rounded, right? Or my uh, front of my muscles in my, in my body could be short. You know, that's one way to think about what we call length tension relationships. But we also have this idea of our motor learning and, and motor development from a pattern recognition standpoint, which is gonna be more of a nervous system driven uh, process. So again, uh, when we're learning how to do a movement or, or our body is learning how to move a certain way, right? that pattern is going to stay with us and that pattern will be more of a default process and that pattern in itself is either going to stress certain areas, lengthen certain muscles, um, or use those muscles to contract and stabilize or to move our body part. So there can be a lot of reasons why range of motion is missing in the first place. That can be from a mechanical standpoint. That can be from a pattern standpoint. That, that can be from a habitual uh, standpoint. So all of those things together tell us maybe why someone is missing range of motion. So when we talk about the prone heel to butt test, again, what we really want is to, to think about is not just stretching tight muscles or restoring um, tight uh, patterns, but understanding this kind of comprehensive approach. Does this person understand how to control their, their midline, their pelvis, their rib cage? That's gonna be our first thing that we're gonna look at, and we'll talk about that with, with some of the videos that I'll do later in this series. The second thing is understanding how this person is moving in their in their in the gym and and in life. For example, do they only know how to um, go down into a lunge position with a extended uh, back? Right? Do they only know how to generate force and stability when they're kipping by extending through their back and anteriorly tilting at the hips? These are all things that we can we can start to look at a little bit closer. Um, as we take our tests to the, to the field, right? Or to the, or to the gym, uh, or to the turf, right? So prone heel to butt or any test, there are a lot of reasons why we can have a short test. We wanna be able to understand, one, is that a short test? Is it limiting? Is it a problem in my life? And, and the next thing is understanding how we got there and how by impacting our, our position, our length tension relationships, our habits, our fitness, our movement, how we can start to restore that pattern uh, and, and start doing the things that we wanna do if it's causing an issue in our life.